Hey guys, my name's Stephen Fox and I'm an engineer here at First Build. And I had some extra drone parts laying around the house and I found this awesome company online called Flight Test. And they have free plans for remote controlled airplanes. So using our lasers here at First Build, I was able to laser cut some foam core and build this airplane. So building this model airplane, we have a brushless motor. Uh, and that brushless motor needs to be connected to a uh, electronic speed control. Uh, and that electronic speed control is going to be connected to a receiver and then I can use our remote control to change the speed of the motor. So yeah, so right now I was just soldering the motor leads to the uh, speed controller. Alright, so right now uh, I'm just checking to see which way the motor turns and I need to, to turn Counterclockwise. <laughs> Alright, so built into the plane we have a thrust counter that's going to want to pull the plane this way. Uh, so we need to make sure the motor is spinning the right direction to then pull it back this way. So the thrust counter in the plane is to counteract the motor spin. So right here you can see when I wants to spin my hand this way. So we want to counter that motor torque in the plane so the plane will fly straight and true. So the solder will melt around like 450, 500. Uh, but since these are such big leads, we need to uh, crank the soldering iron all the way up to around 800 uh, to melt the solder on these big wires. Anyone, Bob? <laughs> Oop, make these holes a little bigger so I can uh, attach the servo horns. So this is the servo control horn. Uh, then I'm going to use these uh, small connecting rods to go in here, and then that'll connect to the flaps. Uh, so I can use the servo to actuate the flaps. Alright, so I'm just doing the uh, last few adjustments. Tightening down the servo horns. And these are to the ailerons for the plane, uh, which will give us roll authority in the air. Alright, so uh, we're going to be using a 4-cell LiPo uh, to power this plane. Uh, we have a 5-volt uh, converter to power the receiver. Uh, that receiver will then talk to my transmitter, uh, and then I'll have four channels, uh, elevator, rudder, and ailerons, and then of course throttle. Uh, we're just going to hold the wing on with rubber bands. Uh, that It just makes it easy to access the components, and then also if the plane crashes, the wing will just fall off. Alright, so we're going to get this thing painted and see how this thing flies. Shift our propeller, so we're gonna go back, put a new prop on, and try again. This is look at that, it's gonna be epic, epic flight. If Steven, if Steven is piloting this thing, the Wright brothers are gonna have some serious competition. Are you aware that we crashed it yesterday pretty hard? I was not aware. <laughs> <laughs> So the plane was flying a little tail heavy, 
Uh, looks like we need a little more nose weight. Uh, we crashed pretty bad. Broke the nose plate up in there, so we just uh, slap a new one on. Uh, we can go cut it real quick on the laser cutter, and we'll be uh, right back at it. All right, so uh, we just adjusted uh, the center of gravity of the airplane. I think it was too tail heavy in the previous flight, so we added some weight up on the nose along with the GoPro. Um. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're back here at first build. We had a pretty good flight there. It uh, looks like we're still a little tail heavy. So we're going to add some more weight to the nose. Uh, and hopefully it'll fly better on the next run. <laughs> Alright, so we corrected the weight issue. Now we're going to give it another go. Nice and steady. Oh! <laughs> All right guys, so the plane flew much better that time. Still had a few kinks. Looks like my piloting skills need a little more work. Uh, but the great thing about foam core is you can crash as many times as you want, put some more hot glue and tape, uh, and it's good as new. Bro, I think that was the best flight yet. <laughs>